Hi, this is Anand from Digitech Solutions and uh, welcome to the quick demonstration of uh, Vector Signal Generator from Signalon. This is the Vector Signal Generator from Signalon, that's VS25A and it having frequency range of 100 MHz to 2.5 GHz and the amplitude range of minus 40 dBm to plus 10 dBm and this is the spectrum analyzer for observation of different signals and coming to the spectra signal generator and it having a modulation bandwidth of 100 megahertz uh, it will capable to generate different signals like uh, continuous signals and AM, FM and pulse signals uh, um, multi-tone signals with a bandwidth of 100 megahertz and it capable to generate like ASK, FSK modulations and coming to phase modulations like VPSK, DPPSK QPSK, OPQPSK, DQPSK, and pi by 2 DPQ QPSK and 8 QPSK and 16 QPSK also it will support. And QAM coming to QAM modulations, it will support 16 and uh, 64 and 256 QAM modulations. And it too supports uh, sweeping in terms of uh, step sweeping and uh, ramp sweeping also, and it supports custom modulation techniques. This is the signal on vector signal generator user interface. This is a Windows application. We can set uh, different signal settings here and we can then directly generate using USB hardware. And this is a spectrum analyzer interface for observation of uh, signals. Uh, now we can go through the sig say different uh, signal generations and uh, different settings. What this particular vector signal generator is capable and uh, this is the continuous signal now we are generating and we have frequency range of uh, uh, 1 gigahertz and amplitude of 0 dBm and this is uh, actually now we can go through the some AM modulations and it supports AM, FM, pulse and multi-tone signals and ASK, FSK and PSK and QAM and RAMS is sweep and step sweep and arbitrary waveform generators and now we can go through some AM modulations in spectrum analyzer we can enter into the zero span for uh, time domain observation and this is the AM uh, modulation settings uh, like uh, modulation rate modulation depth and modulation rate we can go up to 40 megahertz and depth 1% 1, 1 to 99% we can go and this is the different uh, message signals we can uh, give like uh, sine and this is a triangle wave right now and we can go triangle uh, square and uh, ram signal also and uh, And this is the FM modulation again. Uh, you just need to enter into FMD modulation. Uh, we can reduce some sweeping span. And this is the frequency modulation settings so like modulation rate and uh, frequency modulation deviation and FM deviation. Here also we can go modulation rate up to 40 megahertz. And same thing, like uh, we can select different modulation uh, message signals like sine, triangle, this is the square, and ramp also. Next, pulse modulation. This is the pulse modulation settings like uh, pulse width. We can go up to 25 milliseconds of a pulse width and pulse period of uh, 1000 milliseconds. And we can go and observe some uh, pulses in spectrum analyzer. And this now the pulse uh, width of this pulse is 40 microseconds and the pulse per period of uh, 0 0.5 milliseconds. Now we can increase the pulse width up to 100 microseconds. Now we can see the, the width of the pulse in time domain view of a spectrum analyzer and actually it's in triggering mode. Next multi-tone. 
and uh, this is uh, multi tone settings like uh, tone spacing and uh, number of tone count and uh, notch width and uh, tone space face settings like random and parabolic and uh, this is uh, multi tones uh, with the spacing of uh, 10 kilohertz of and total tone count is 1001 and now we can enter some notch into the this multi tones this is most useful for uh, noise power testing of amplifiers and using this IQ offset uh, we can nullify the uh, notch noise next phase modulation techniques it supports uh, so many phase modulation techniques uh, we can see this is the symbol rate we can go up to 45 mega samples per second symbol rate and this is modulation types like bpsk qpsk dppsk dqpsk oqpsk and pi by 4 dpqpsk and 8psk and it supports different qom modulations like 16 64 and 256 and this is the different filters rise cosine and uh, root rise cosine and Gaussian and uh, filter alpha value and this is a symbol editor here we can directly enter the message symbols and, uh, uh, zeros and ones and we can directly insert uh, pn7 and pn9 in sequences uh, and it we can uh, export or import uh, this total bits into text files and we can recall sometimes for different modulations now we can look onto some QPSK signal. QPSK and coming to spectrum analyzer window. Spectrum analyzer also supports uh, digital demodulation techniques. Like it directly demodulates the digital modulated signals like all uh, some QPSK, BPSK, DQPSK, all those things. Here we can see the constellation plot and the spectrum and eye diagrams and uh, VVM measurements and the symbol tables also and we can go and change some other uh, modulation technique so let's see 16 com and uh, this is also 16 com in receiver side here we can see the 4 by 4 vector constellation points now this only just points and uh, we can clearly see the 4 by 4 constellation points for 16 com and this is i diagram for 16 com and this is the spectrum view of 16 com and uh, this is error summary and uh, symbol table now we can look onto some sweep signals and it come this gui comes with different nine different presets here we can save the settings and we can recall those settings in spectrum analysis software we can look onto the real time spectrum now and this is the step sweep settings like start and stop frequencies and step size and dwell time of the signal and next we can look onto the ram sweep RAM sweep settings like a span and a sweep time apply settings and this is the RAM sweep spectrum and we can, this vector signal generator also supports the arbitrary custom modulation techniques we can directly import the IQ data in format of CSV files and we can directly go with that particular customer modulated signal thank you for watching for more videos please subscribe this channel